Hey, welcome to Hillbilly Railroad. Um, my name's Scott. I will be entertaining you this afternoon, uh, Saturday. I uh, hope you got your cup of coffee and uh, everything else you need for the next little bit. Um, a recap on what we did yesterday. Uh, on the building, um, painted or installed the light, uh, and got the vents installed and uh, painted and installed. I apologize, uh, my sinuses are going crazy. Hey, Heath, how's it going, brother? Thank you for stopping in. Um, like I said, I lost the instructions to this building, so uh, the main part's done. Now it's the roof detailing that uh, is coming up now. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this pollen, ragweed and everything. Uh, let me switch over to the other camera real fast and I'll show you what's going on. Let's see if I get the right camera. Come on, pick it up. Oh, it ain't going to pick my camera up. There we go. Um, this ain't the camera I wanted, but it'll work. <laughs> uh, right here, we have the base that goes on. I'm going to move these over to this one here because it's a better view. Um, then you got a center cap that sits on top. And then you got a round barrel that sits on top of it. And that makes up the roof vents that go on this part of the uh, ceiling. Yeah, the roof, sorry. Oh, do, 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 what camera is that? I think it's that one that I want. In all reality, there we go. But they go... There's uh, four, eight, 12 of them. So last night, off camera, while I was watching uh, Vinny's show, I uh, cleaned up 80% of them. As far as what I meant by cleaning up is, I don't know if you can see it, but on the edges there's burrs. Where they mounted to the plastic. Uh, I've got to clean the section that goes up here for right now. Uh, and I also have the uh, downspouts that I've got to clean up a little bit and mount down. But first of all, I don't know what colors to paint these. Um, Hey, Lee, thank you for stopping in, brother. Um, I don't, I mean, I got my grays, my dark granite gray, and my pewter gray that I was going to do them in. Uh, do the dark, light, and then dark, or light dark light I don't know but I hope everybody's Saturday is going good and now I've got to find my small brush oh, I think it's in this drawer yep it's in the drawer that I've got to move every time <laughs> uh, like I said, it's been one of them Saturday mornings. I don't 
need a very big brush, but I want a decent brush. Y'all seen where I stash my brushes? The white's going to start coming in. <coughs> Get this light back over where it was so I can see. Going to be another warm one here in the hills, so I'm going to do some painting and then a straw installation. Heath, I liked your walk around the other day, dude. Last couple walk arounds have been real cool. They, uh. <laughs> How far did you walk yesterday, dude? Hey, Dwight. Thank you for stopping in, brother. I mean, I know you covered a distance. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I'm going to go dark. Well, I bet you got suntan yesterday too, dude. Some beautiful sceneries, man. Some wild looking buildings. You gonna walk Monday? <laughs> Almost 10 miles, dude. That's crazy. But like I said, it was some pretty scenery. I'm going to try to keep paint off of this top right here because that's where it smuts. I don't know uh, when our next chance of rain is. But I'd like to do one of them walk arounds in this area to show you all what the hills look like. I like I know I'm gonna do one this fall. That's for sure, because it's beautiful. But that's the best way to get exercise, I guess. My brother in law, he lives probably about a mile and a half up the holler up the road from us. And we were sitting on the front porch yesterday morning. Here he come walking down the road. He said by the time he got home, he walked almost three and a half miles. Walking's good for you though. That's good. According to your chart that uh, I looked looked at um, from my height and uh, age and weight and everything, I'm right on market. Five nine twenty years old. And a hundred and eighty pounds. I lied about twenty. <laughs> hey, women can women can uh Elaborate. Why can't men? <laughs> Excuse me. But 
uh, you know how things go. It's like a fish story. Well, I'll tell you what, you never know how much you use that one little finger until it's gone. I've got, uh, <laughs> in my mind, I'm 20 years old. I know, I look old for 20, huh? <laughs> <coughs> no, I just, uh, may I turn 58. I'm an old part. That's why I can't wait to uh, get my room done so I can get my layout going because I am modeling the uh, temples that are up the bottom. Or, well, actually, I've got one up the road. There's a temple on load out, and there's a, I'm sitting in between two of them, one at each end of me. About once a, well, depending on what time of day it is, I usually see a coal train leaving or coming, and if it's if they come in at midnight, you know, after, before midnight, they'll usually are loaded out and pulling out of the holler uh, by 1, 2 o'clock. And then maybe by 4 or 5, there might be another one coming up the holler to be loaded out. I'm trying to get a hold of the... Uh, my buddy up there to see if I can uh, video some uh, loadout, some coal loads being loaded up under the to out of the temple. I was trying to look through my old files. <clears throat> yeah um i started modeling um heavy uh like four years ago four or five years ago uh, my buddy Teddy, he come in, went up to his house one day, and he had a layout going, and uh, I was hooked again. But the wife enjoys me doing it. The grandkids love doing it. And that's another reason I gotta hurry up and get that room done. I like to see I like to see them guys have fun on it before they graduate high school. <laughs> hey, did 
and uh Heath, did you get um Joe's mic working out? Yeah, I'd like to be twenty one now. Can you imagine the layout we'd have? Woo. <coughs> I'm not going to give these two coats because once you start throwing weather on it, other pigments... It'll look good. But if it's a light coat, I will hit it again. Voila. Now, for what color I know. Hmm. I was thinking about gold, red, white, and blue. <laughs> Yeah, I seen him testing the camera and everything. Um, he was still having a little bit of mic problems, I guess. You'll have that too. That's what stinks. Okay. Do 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 do. Um. Yeah, but like I said, I got uh, two temples that I'm going to model. Oh, uh, the one up the road from me is a underground mine. That's the one I worked at, and uh. The one that's down the road from me is uh, shipped f across the mountain, literally over belt lines and uh, to the temple. Uh, they got stockpile up here. And uh, I'll have to do a, a live feed one day on Facebook to uh, show you all, because I can't do it yet on YouTube. Hi, Joe. Welcome, brother. Um, not until you hit so many subscribers and... That's crazy, but you got to abide by their laws because it is their channel. Oh, uh, did you do, do, do what colors? See, that almost matches it. Eh, that ain't going to work. Not at all. It looks like almost the same color. Well, if I do two coats, it might look okay. <coughs> like I said, you're not really going to see this part because this is the part that the dome sits over top like that. I mean, let me see something. If you all can see what I'm Jiving at. <laughs> Come on, pick it up. There we go. Um, see how much of the that lip is showing right there. Okay, that's all you're seeing. And I mean, you're down with me. Well, you're lower than I am. 
right now. So that's what you would see when you would look at it squatted down. But I don't know if y'all can see that color or not. Oh. See the two different colors? Come on, focus. Not on my hand. I guess it'd be okay for two different two colors or two coats on that. That's the only part I'm gonna paint that ring. That's the only part you see, so why paint? Stuff you're not going to see. You ain't lying there, brother. Real rough. <laughs> oh. That one. Yeah, real, real rough. <coughs> Excuse me. So I just cleaned my brush for nothing. <laughs> Been buried alive. Been pinned to a wall by coal. Now that's a rush. Me and a buddy of mine, we worked for a company out of uh, Macedonia, Ohio. And we would put uh, waterproof basements. And we was up in Cleveland, up towards the shoreline. And uh, one of their job, you know, one of the providing was... You go outside and dig a footer crack. You know, that's a crack that goes from the top all the way down to the footer. Yeah, I did prime everything before painting. That's why everything's the same color. <coughs> I sanded it down and everything like that. So, like I say, it should show up pretty decent. And we was digging what they call a footer crack. And uh, up in Cleveland. We got down maybe just below your chest line right to here. And we, me and my buddy, he was on one end of one and I was on the other end. And just as we both threw dirt out, the uh, wall come in on us and pinned us up against the outside of the basement wall. Our hands were pinned down beside us. <laughs> the only thing that we could do <laughs> was scream. Nobody could hear us on the inside because they were using an electric jackhammer. <laughs> so me and him was pinned out there for about 45 minutes. Screaming our lungs off. And finally one of the foremans come out and check on us. And they got us out. EMT showed up. Checked us. We was okay. You know. We were more pissed than anything because it took 45 minutes <laughs> for anybody to realize that, hey, where's Scott and Mike at? <laughs> but as soon as the uh, EMTs cleared us and everything like that, um, I walked up to my foreman and told him, have a good day. Got in my car and went home. And that was good enough for me. I'm 
It's going to be another hot one up where you're at, Heath, from what I hear. How much snow do you have where you live at? Do you actually receive up there in New York? I mean, you, here we maybe got. Uh, all season, I'm talking. Maybe a foot. I apologize, having my big old hands in the way. Why don't y'all say something? So, Joe, did you get your mic figured out? It might be. One to two feet. Now, I remember them kind of snowstorms when, when I was growing up in Ohio. Go to bed and be green grass, wake up and have three feet of snow off. Them were the good days, though. Telephones are ringing. <coughs> Excuse me. Snow plows on garbage trucks. Now, that would be something wild to model on a layout. How some people have the, uh, like a snow scene. That would be pretty wild to watch. <laughs> Just going through and seeing if I hit any, missed any spots. I need to know the Department of Sanitation does a snow plow. Seriously. See down here, it's the uh, we have our sanitation department. Um, God, don't ask me who it is. Oh, uh, dee 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 dee. Um, but then we have our street maintenance repairs. They go out and do their things and get our trash picked up every every week and snow removal done by the city. Well, state. See, 
I think I'm going to stay with that color on the top because when I start weathering it black, it's going to bring it darker. <coughs> Something like that. I found out why I wasn't getting no notifications from uh, well I hope they have a good relationship because <laughs> sometimes you're going to need each other Finish this one and do something. Sorry about my hands in my head right now. I'm gonna sure. Ooh. There we go. Um. So what is everybody working on? Oh, I bet you there's a lot of red tape. A whole lot of red tape between who's getting what money. And that's sad that they, that it's went to that more about money than the people. And they keep forgetting that we pay their taxes. We pay their bills. I figure if you want if you want to raise, you better you know, just like if you were at a normal job. If you expect a raise, then your production should be top notch. And I feel the same way with the government. If you want to raise show us make things better instead of going worse <laughs> Cup four will he got? I had a uh I've had a two wheel drive three hundred Honda, a four wheel drive three hundred Honda. And I bought a yellow 500 Rubicon off of a buddy of mine. But when I first moved down here to West Virginia, I had a YZ250 dirt bike. Um, yeah. These hills, if you aren't aware of your surroundings, will eat you up alive on a dirt bike. And a four-wheeler. There's a lot of, uh, I listened to a scanner, and there's a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of ODs. And uh, a lot of four-wheeler accidents come across a scanner I 
I know I should have done this last night, but I figured what better way of spending your Saturday afternoon is working on a model railroad with family and friends. I can't wait to get in that train room, man, because I got, I was finally able to set it up to where I can film. Everything is, all the wiring that I have, all the wiring for, like, recording, um, TV, uh, stuff like that. I done prior to hanging the drywall, so make it a lot easier on me when it comes time to setting up cameras and video and stuff like that. But if price of wood don't come down, I ain't never gonna get that room done. And that's what's crazy, as much, <clears throat> as many trees, put it that way, that I see coming out of my holler, going down the road on a logging truck, there's no way we got shortage. And I know we're not the only state logging, so... You know, what about that TV show, The Axeman? Where's all them trees that they cut down? <laughs> <laughs> you all are my family and friends. <laughs> In that case, you got that right, brother. But I got, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I ordered another set of lights for this. Um, okay, baby. Okay, we'll be careful. Okay. So um, <laughs> don't forget cookies. <laughs> Um, with some wife going down the road, they her best friend. They grew up together. And I gotta have my cookies and milk before I go to sleep. There, them don't look too bad. Um, I like my Oreos. I like how them come out. I was, in that, I was working on my trees in the living room. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to bring them back here and, and show you how I did, how you show you guys how I did my wire trees. Um, these wire trees were bare for, Got about, I'd say two years. Just number one. Um, but 
but I started uh, testing different different ways of uh, making it look like a tree. Because that's going to be the heart. That's going to be the hardest part for me. Sorry about that. Um, is trees. Because I will not accept. If it don't look like a real tree, it will not be on my layout. Uh, that thing, that drives me bananas. I don't know if it's because I'm where I'm from, you know, living in West Virginia. And, uh. I look at trees every day, dudes. I mean, every morning I have coffee with the wife on the front porch. And, uh. Watch the birds and the deer. And, uh. And the hardest thing that's going to be for me is making it look like uh, bark. I mean, uh, I've been experimenting with this one here, for example. I don't know if y'all can see that clear enough. But uh, I'm trying to make it look like bark. camera and go focus for me but um that's a metal tree that uh i took um mosh posh and kept putting a uh, layer upon layer upon layer upon layer <laughs> of mosh posh glue to get it it didn't look like a wire. And then this this last little bit that I tried, I like. So I figured I'd show you all how I do it. Interesting, to say the least. And these are the little caps that go on top of these. Uh, that's set up on this part. Up on the top part here. On the smaller roof. I still got to weather that. I've got to... Uh, Figure a way of putting this roof together and uh, having it removable. We got to where you can see the inside interior, interior of the building. I just thought of something really smart. Gosh. Talk about brain parts. Hey, look at this. <laughs> that was so much easier. <coughs> hey, look at this. This is easy. I can see everything now. I know, work smart, not hard. But I want to say congratulations to all the winners of uh, Jack Jack's uh, competition. 
Hey, Grandpa. How you doing, brother? You staying safe? Um, they, uh, he announced the winners this morning. And I'll tell you what. Them some nice looking box car or uh, gifts were some nice. I don't know. I'm 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 really 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 thinking hard about entering this third one. I just didn't have the time on this uh, one and two. Well, actually, I didn't know about one until it was over. Thanks to YouTube. I love you. <laughs> but uh, that way, um, Well, you missed a lot over there. <coughs> Excuse me. They, uh, nice looking gifts that Jack Jack gave away. I was thinking really hard about entering this third one. It's got, uh, paper, plastic, wood, and metal, and styrene. I like the idea that you gotta buy a get a kit and modify it to where it don't look like the original kit. There we go. Do, do, do. Um, boy, I'll tell you what, that dog barks at anything and everything. Yeah, he does. He doesn't, you know. He does give away nice, nice, nice gifts. And speaking of gifts, don't forget about... 300 year Scarver giveaway <laughs> in scale um, Union Crane. Now, these hmm. you gotta hurry up and get me to 300. You want these? This be good for Jack Jack's build. Um, the Union Crane, and for HO, we have the Medusa Cement Factory. Um, that's HO and N. Sorry about O scale and everything like that, but I do want to show my appreciation somehow for y'all <laughs> even coming into my room. <laughs> You all have to be crazy coming in here. But all you all have to do to win is subscribe. It's free 
it don't cost nothing and like it said if you don't like it you can always unsubscribe which I wish you wouldn't because I had a funny funny feeling this build in that room is going to be I mean, y'all are going to be with, once the sanding and everything is done, and I can start putting the uh, electronics in there. From that stage on, you know, you guys are going to watch the build. From beginning to end. Um, right now, it is... Well, I can tell you what it is right now. <laughs> it is 88 degrees. 45% um, humidity. Barometer pressure is at 30. And uh, in the sun, it's 90 degrees. Warm. Best place to be right now would be in the mountains or an air conditioning room. you please be safe okay let them pack up a little bit like I said once I start weathering um Put weather down, put, yeah, start weathering them. Then, uh, <clears throat> because it, this is supposed to be like a metal roof, you know what I'm saying? Put, uh, black tar around one of you know a couple of them where they've really and they've had to come in and put black tar down and everything like that the rust look all that good stuff um these four right here i'm not gonna mess with today there were the caps because i gotta clean these and the uh, downspouts which these long ones, they wrap around the block. There's a lip that goes along here. And when it comes down, it down, over, out, down. To match the contour of the building. I want that uh, where it drops down past this part. I want it yellow for safety reasons so people don't run into them one thing I do like about that paint it dries fast do, 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 do. I mean I know there's a lot of but not you a lot better thing to do on a Saturday than sit here and watch some crazy hillbilly pull parts off the tape. <laughs> but I do appreciate y'all stopping in. Um oh if you can give the thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment. Um I need these.
See, you can't even tell them we're painted. Well, a little bit. Watch well, some good tape. <laughs> One more. Oh, don't fall. You all hit the floor. I couldn't find you. Oh, I can set this uh, off to the side. Now for the base. These are little tiny downspout gutters that go from here to here. I don't want to lose them. Okay. That's done. Don't need you no more. We're going to slide that there, slide that there. We're going to use this as a platform. I'm not going to do the ones in the middle yet. Because I got a little bit of work to, like I said, I got to figure out how I thought about taking, um, where'd I put it? Okay. I bought, um, Two by fours and hmm. two by fours and two by sixes. Ah, here they are. I bought these uh, styrene strips, two by fours and six by sixes. Sorry. Um. And using for the two by fours to more or less hide this seam. Because once the vent caps go on, um, and put like a, a ridge vent cap. Look. Oh, didn't like that. Stuck to my arm. <clears throat> that way it gives it some kind of uh, durability when I take it off or have it to where it's glued to one side and uh, overlaps this side. That way I can slide them apart this way. But for right now, we're going to do some denting. <laughs> Just a dab of do ya. Oops, sorry if you heard that. And, uh, woo. You know, when I start weathering this, where they, uh, where these have rusted out a little bit and, uh, bled down onto the roof, which then ran this way, um, 
You know, I think it'll look pretty decent. But that's... That's what it's going to look like. I don't know if this other camera will pick it up better or not. Let's take a peek. Probably not, because it's... Nope. But I can do this for you guys. Oh, no, still. Whew. Come on, quit shaking. Once I get that weathered, I don't think it looked too bad. Like I said, you can only see a little bit of that. I should have painted them red, white, and blue. <laughs> that way it would been okay. down here and on on this part here uh where they overlap um i'm gonna cement one side on this side one side on that side every other one well there's only four so be two on this side and two on the other side that will interlock each other <clears throat> just to kind of keep the roof top my hands are going to be in the way oh sorry wrong wrong button i think it's that camera i hate Oh, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> I don't hate. The only thing I hate is running out of cookies. <laughs> Can't lose those lids either. I do. I like my cookies and milk. Need my glue. Because these don't, I mean, these fit. They fit tight on that little. There's like a I don't know what you call that. Not even a paper thickness lip right there. It fits pretty good <coughs> on it. I mean, I still got a long way to go on this. I got to uh, install the lights. And, uh, for this section up here uh, finish these figure this out finish the top put the gutters on it and uh, that should be it I mean she's almost done oh I've got to put the uh, yellow vents and door on the other side yet I have not done that, but 
I took uh, I do not want to lose none of them I don't have power on this so I can't show you what it looks like with the lights on it <laughs> of course um I got to uh you know how you you play around you know even before it's even on the layout you got to play around so what I done Okay, that is, oh, no wonder, duh. Um, I went and got one of my engines, and uh, let's see, oh, stretch a matic So that's what it's going to look like when you beer inside of it. Um. Like I said, once I like to, uh, I've got a center light underneath, and then two in this corner so far. The back end, back here is, well, let me spin it and you see. There's, it's dull back here. There's no light. <clears throat> you really can't see inside of it through the glass without lights on it. Um, but once I get her done, get her done and, uh, the setup on the layout the way I want it in my head. Ooh, I know this is a modern diesel mechanic warehouse, but. I'm doing the error of uh, nineteen seventy through West Virginia. Um, <clears throat> that way, uh, Do this part of West Virginia, more or less, um, loadouts, coal, uh, paper plant. We do have, we've got quite a few paper plants in this area. Uh, odd and end stuff like that. Um, that way, uh, um, That's what I'm talking about trees. They got to look real because it's uh, going to be a major part of my layout. Uh, the mountains, the haulers, the little dirt roads that you see up in the back terrain and stuff like that. Um. <laughs> not bad I like Wilmer he's a good dude his little scratch built come out nice too um, but uh, I want to model prototypical um, in some areas and in some areas I'm going to let my head go to work and uh, Lord help us all <laughs> But uh, <clears throat> I'm pushing an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to back out of here and uh, go see what the wife has bought and check on the grandbabies and grandson. Or, yeah, photo lands. There you go. Um, 
which you know, Grandpa, you've been up to here. You, these mountains are absolutely breathtaking in the summer. Okay, but I'm doing uh, right before spring, uh, before everything turns bright green and you can't see what's underneath the canvas, the mountain terrain. And then as far as I go down the layout, go into full summer or winter, whatever. But I'm going to jump off of here and uh, see what's going on out there in the other room. But uh, from my house to your house, may God be with you and be safe and stay off the tracks.